Okay, so this is 18-25, um, the one right above what we just did. And this time we're going to really um, sight read, sight read. Um, you don't have to do the broken chord accompaniment. I'm just going to block it out in chords. Um, the only thing that I'll remind you is when you see G7 or B flat 7, that means that we're going to have a major minor chord, not a full major major chord. Okay, so keep that in mind. I am going to give you a little bit of time to look through it. So I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to look through it, and then I'll let you pause it if you need to. Okay, if you need more time, go ahead and pause right now. Okay, all right, and then one more quick note before we get started, I'm gonna set my hands up while we're, I'm talking. When you get to the chords that like B flat seven over D, I don't care which one you pick. Um, sometimes that'll just mean shifting through the rest of the measure. What I'm gonna do is pick one chord and just stick with it because it'll work, okay? All right, so make sure you're set up in the right position. I'm gonna give you one full measure and then five beats, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. what I just played through with you to listen to and to check. Um, if you ever want to just take it and play the left hand and check that against um, what I'm doing, then feel free to go right ahead. Um, I think that's the best way to help with harmonization. It's just hearing chords and making sure that you're moving around efficiently. So um, as the semester goes on and we get past the prepare part of the proficiency exam, we're going to pretty much plunge into just sight reading, transposition, and all those things. So with either one of these or anything uh, harmonization-wise or even small piece-wise, see if you can transpose it right now. Um, it looks like you guys had some experience with the transposition before, so I'm not too uh, stressed about it. Um, and it's not going to get much harder than this, but I would start doing that now. Okay? All right, so in the next uh, video, we're going to talk a little bit about the remaining scales and then have a brief reminder of cadences. So.